his MLG Winter Championship hopes yeah. alive. It's going to be a tough challenge on Akalon Waste. Akalon Waste does have very easy four bases to secure, but they're spread out in such a way that those speed medevac drops are hell to deal with. Honestly, I think that this is a difficult map to avoid going Phoenix. Phoenixes with a range five are excellent. That means Phoenixes have the same range as Marines. Default speed for medevacs is faster than default speed for Marines, so it's very easy to pick those off in the front. Phoenix is a much more viable general option, but critical to defend that backside. Let's go ahead and introduce our players as we're about ready to hop into this game. Let's get excited, folks. For those of you who are UGG fans, this might be the last opportunity that you have to cheer for them. Let's go ahead and hop into this game in the southeast position as the Red Protoss from Team Evil Geniuses give it up. His life is on the line for E.G. Huck. And up in the top left corner, if you don't succeed, mine, mine again. Will he do it a third game, Marcus? It is innovation. Will he? And I think yes. I think yes. I, I, I think that it, it works again. I think that even if you can't get that Widow Mind Drop, even if you don't get that free, oh my gosh, look at how awesome it is when nine probes die. Uh, you know, harassment, again, I still feel like using it to control space. Yeah. Uh, we saw it used by Innovation to actually trap two stalkers so he knew he was going to chase the stalkers away but of course huck actually uh huck actually defended that by blinking away yeah i mean the big reason mines are great um it's, it's pretty subtle why they're good it forces the opponent to build stalkers we were talking about the fact that stalkers mess with your resources if you're building zealots you have a lot of gas left over to do tech if you're building sentries you have a lot of minerals left over to build gateways or expansions if you build stalkers you basically cannot build more gateways cannot build more tech you just have the stalkers so suddenly we're seeing that the reason huck's falling behind is that in the later game he's low on colossus low on upgrades low on all the things other than stalkers and you know what we're not gonna see mines right away at least because that cc did go down first but huck actually went right past it he sees the barracks go down and knows, oh, okay, I must have missed it. There he goes. He confirms it. So the uh, uh -oh. quick command center is down for Huck. Oh, is Huck, is he going to chrono boost his first zealot? Oh, you can actually chrono boost out two zealots if you, if you do this proper. But, I mean, innovation didn't wall in. You, oh, yeah, this is, you're right. You're this right. Is really this bad could news. Be punishment, huh? I mean, Huck's already doing his classic probe harass. Been doing this since the beta of Wings of Liberty zaps down until the shields are gone and then retreats until the shields are up and then zaps again and it works and time and time again he's continued to utilize that throughout his entire career and there it is a chrono boost actually the stalker is going to come on so puck immediately sent that zealot over now by the time it does get out there should be a marine a second rax was thrown down uh behind this not unusual it's about halfway down. that first marine is coming out so Let's take a look at this. Huck, obviously, okay, there was no barracks thrown down. It was CC first. Can I try to take advantage of the situation? Sean, is he in a position where you feel like he can? Oh, wow. I mean, definitely. I mean, Marine 1 has just popped up, and Zealot 1 is almost at the front gates. You will be able to kill off that SCB building, the bunker. This is why you wall off with those two uh, barracks, so that way you don't have these vulnerabilities. And there goes down one SCB, and it looks like Huck will be pulling back. Innovation has... Kind of a tricky defense. He's he's running around in circles. He may very well lose another SCV. Oh, but the stalker comes in the back. If he could keep this bunker from going up, and it's not going to happen as the zealot falls, the bunker completes, and unfortunately the harassment is over. What was the result of that? Three SCVs were killed, but there were about a total of five SCVs that were doing that dance, Sean. So there was yeah. certainly some mine, uh, mine time loss. I, I actually certainly feel as though Huck is at an edge right now, especially if he keeps chrono boosting out his probes. We've seen Huck a little bit light on the chrono boosting efforts throughout these games. Um, but in this position, innovation has not yet started his gas geysers. There, they're both going to go down right now. Huck actually has a lot of freedom to do as he pleases, and it looks like, is he going to go for gateway pressure? He's gotten a single extra gateway. Huh. Uh, and there, oh. nope, there it is. There's two more going down. I and, like this. Yeah, sitting right outside. I mean, if you take a look at innovation, he's added on a third racks. He's continued to pump out Marines, and there another bunker is going to go down 
knowing that I could be in a situation where my opponent could try to get a little cheeky with me. And uh -huh. uh, I think this sets him up to at least be able to uh, defend something that could be coming up here. The probe is coming out. There's a pylon going down. Well, looks like Hux now transferring to his expansion. This is going to be a, a tough defense for innovation, to be quite honest, Marcus. It's going to be just Marines. One of the key um, formations that you know we don't talk about in a lot of maps, but it's still big, distance from your natural expansion workers to the bunkers. If that distance is big, it's hard uh. for them to get up there and repair in time. Huck needs to not lose these stuckers. Oh! Yeah. Huck! Oh! oh! I, you know, again, a situation you can think he could have just gone out of there. Uh, meanwhile, he is warping in quite a few units down here. Now, he has brought all these Marines out of the bunker. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that's... He's baiting! It's he's gonna get bait. force field. He's gonna get force fielded. It's a bait! Oh, it was a no. good one! Will he? Oh! Nice job! Oh, the force fields God. are perfect. The SCV's coming out, but they're not gonna have much to defend against. There's three Marines now, a total of five in those bunkers. Gonna throw down another one, but he's still going in for oh, this. No. He's SCVs. gonna maximize his damage. SCV's at the front lines. Huck, he doesn't even care about the bunkers. Ten SCV's killed off right now. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen killed off. Oh my god, Innovation is in a bad territory right now. I mean, you, he put a worm on that hook, Sean, and he dangled it in the water, and that little bobber went underwater, and he oh, just yeah. immediately yanked it out. Innovation, you said it was going to be tough, but I don't think Innovation was expecting to get baited like that at all. He lost quite a few Marines and all of that. Behind that with the factory and the starport going up, but this pressure continues. I still feel like Huck needs to pull back and just change. I mean, yeah. When your five gate gets spotted, you're originally planning on doing the attack around the eight minute mark. Now it's nine minutes. Huck did a great job seizing the opportunity, but it's been seized. Just go home. <laughs> now he's he's running the risk of just losing a ton of units. There's still no tech developed back home. So this is an odd position that Huck has put himself in. I mean, on the flip side, innovation is like constantly keeping these SCVs up front to make sure that this attack isn't going to come. And I mean, it is. There are so many zealots. There's about four sentries down there. It's just these weak stalkers that are kind of the face of Huck right now, and that's all innovation really knows about. You see him continuing to try to peek out here, really try to get a read on what's going on, and there it is. He's going to go and move back. Is it going to be another bait? Attempt Gosh. to be. This is, that was a really risky move from Innovation to try to pull that off. And uh-oh, here it comes. Not good timing from Huck, but the unit count is real big right now. SCVs glitching the front. Huck has so many units, though. I'm not sure if Huck can break through. Not a good engagement for Huck at all. Oh, uh, and that means the chase is going to come on. Now, a lot of these Marines did go ahead and uh, skip, so they are very, very low. The Guardian Shield is hot, but is it going to be enough? He turns around. There's some Stalkers coming from the back from the pylon that was put down, and Huck is going to be chased away, but these Stalkers from the back might do some damage. He's going to try to can, stay with you. Can he pull this off? I think he will. This is a close call right now. Huck trying to pull Innovation every which way, but Innovation just going to the weaker side, continuing to use that extra for speed boosted medevac to get out of there and he's going to pick up pull up go home what an exchange is anyone even ahead or behind after that look at innovation's expansion he has no workers has there no workers look at look that. At, there's four marines inside the bunker so the majority of his army is in these two medevacs right here and innovation picked up thought maybe this would be an opportunity to go into the main base and drop but in fact that is not the case the pylon at the front of innovation base is getting cleaned up here but you know it's funny because you've been saying hawk hawk go back you know like chill for a little bit like take the defense of posture and what innovation just did forced huck into that which might be exactly what he needs right now so because huck likes giving me a clear example to work with we've been talking about stalkers hurting your ability to tech look back in huck's base no colossus tech no forge no twilight council chrono boosting out immortals so that he has some muscle to deal with this marauder marine composition he's not in a terrible spot though he does have a lot of probes and a lot of units but right now it looks like a shove is coming up at the front side huck though does need to tech he needs to start putting units back in his gas he only has two in one of his geysers at his expansion and now innovation's looking for some opportunity to bust on in 
Yeah, and, and I mean, look at what we have on the front here for Huck. He's going to crush this little tiny group. But it's like, haha, it's the medevacs that are coming into the back. But there are five stalkers here. Now, uh -oh. if they can actually target down a medevac, which they're not, that's okay. But the units weren't dropped off inside the base, and that was enough. I can't even believe that Innovation is moving that forward uh, army up the ramp. But he immediately said, okay, that, that was a bad idea. It's out of there. Yeah, Twilight Forge has to be the checkpoint, or the, the um, transition choice for right life, right now. I mean, why is that? Colossus can only be built one at a time if you have one robo facility. If you have a lot of gateways, you can warp out a lot of Templar at a time and make use of that Twilight Council set of units. So Huck, very smart for transitioning into that, but still very, very, very behind. He's going to have to probably go blink first because look at this hellish formation behind Huck's third base. Behind the third, medevacs can just chill and bounce to yeah. the third, bounce to the main. The distance between ground of those two bases, tiny. Or, uh, excuse me, huge. Huge. <laughs> Distance by air is tiny, so then blink and, and drops can exploit that. Um, and, and, yeah, that space is really, really scary. It can be uh, used and abused by Terrans in magnificent oh, fashion. Oh, look at this, though. Huck is going for charge. This is going to be, this is a little bit of a difficult spot to work with. You just have to have preemptive, nice positioning. And you also have to make sure that you're obviously not going to be hurting yourself uh, with your force fields, but another pylon is cleared out. A probe, uh, excuse me, uh, observer now moving around, trying to get a track on this army. He has an idea that is moving out. He saw it move from his main base. I don't know, does Huck have vision of this third base? He does not, despite the fact that there is observer right over the natural of innovation. Well, Huck is, is doing something that's Risky, but still very smart. He's poaching forward with his slow units, Zealot, Sentry, Immortals. He wants to try to shove the medevacs back and back and back, so that way he can know where he needs to put his stalkers. Right now, it looks like Innovation's just trying to do a, a, a straight drill at the front. Oh, and the Mothership Corps almost getting targeted down in a single, uh, single fire from the Vikings. And Hawk not wanting to commit to this one quite yet. He throws up that Guardian Shield anticipating a battle, but he's waiting for charge to finish up, and it is done. Does he make the move right now? His opponent does not know that he's got charge, and here he goes up the ramp. No, still does not. Oh, Huck's in a nice wow, position. He doesn't is. have blink, and I mean, it looks like it's just going to be a straight retreat. There's going to be a spin and run. It's a nice tightening by innovation. Huck will be forced to pull back. And a couple of zealots do indeed die. The nuts. Take a look. The third base. It is up. Oh. And, and, and it's looking good. Oh, the Vikings in the back. Hey, you don't have Colossus, but that's cool. I'll go try to do some damage. I don't think they got a whole lot of, uh, of workers killed. In fact, they did not. But again, he, he built them anticipating the Colossus and still found a way to use them uh, later on. Now, DT heading on out. Oh. He's getting a little bit glitched. Huck's going to have to work his way around, but he's going to be going straight into the main. Huck looks like he has not yet seen the third base. No, I, he hasn't. I say he's got this observer right here, but he's not floated it over and actually seen if it was in there. That DT is making oh, its way in. Oh my God! Innovation just spent all of his energy on mules. There is only two points of energy remaining on the main CC in order to have a scan, but he's going to have to reposition his entire army. He's only going to have one scan available. Oh my God! Oh, Innovation has not yet moved SCVs in the main. Oh, this is bad news for Innovation. Innovation is going to lose a lot of workers. And look at Huck. Oh 44 God. workers killed off by Huck this game. Right before this attack happened, I looked to see how many workers he got early on, and it was 27. So he's almost doubling that kill here, or momentarily will be. And now he's moving in with his army. He might be able to smash these two together. The DT still holding off one side. He's moving forward, and he's going for it. Uh-oh, uh-oh. This is a tough engagement for Huck. He's throwing down four steals. He's trying to isolate. This is still a dangerous angle for Huck. I mean, the Dark Temple are still in the main base. Can Huck micro his way to a win here? He's going to have to pull back fast. He's going to keep throwing down these force fields as best as he can. He sent a few zealots over to do some damage to that third as well. And there are not that many SCVs remaining, but the forces for Huck are depleting. SCVs run away from that third, but the army of innovation will thwart this and send it back home. Now, during this, Huck gets his third up. But how many SCVs were left? 59 have been killed by Huck. But Huck needs something huge unit fast. I mean, he he doesn't have High Templar. He doesn't have Colossus. 
he did kill off one of the uh, engineering base, but Innovation knows that he has to do one big counter swing now, but I, I honestly think it's just gonna work. I think it's gonna work too. Uh, I, I, yeah, I mean, this is a delay. What does he do? He doesn't have sentries to be able to throw down. Um, his money right now is, is not looking so great. He puts together that Archon. DTs are still doing some damage here because there's no scans, but it, this is kind of scary. He cancels one of the Archons, gets more DTs out there. There's the scan, the DTs go down, but again, is it enough? No. Oh man, Huck is really low on supply, but I mean, he, will he, get, he doesn't get the Immortal out. Oh, innovation. Innovation's looking pretty good, but has to win with this attack to be able to win. And I mean, I do think he's going to. We had three more DTs warping in. We've got another DT coming in up on the high ground, I believe, but that Nexus goes down and now the probes are falling. I mean, the money right now just not looking so great. There's no way he's going to be able to put something together to be able to beat this. There's, I'm afraid this could be the end. There's no more scan available, though, so Huck does have the opportunity to deal some damage with those DTs. There's a good game, Innovation 3-0 Huck. And I really love the DT play at the end there. I mean, yeah. to amplify the worker uh, harassment that he had done early on, I guess the worker kills that he had had early on, I wouldn't really call it harassment because they all died trying to defend. But we got the DTs in there, it looked like, oh my gosh, he, he ravaged the, naturally ravaged the, the third and then even the, the main. And 59 SCV is a yeah. ridiculous amount, but it also goes to show us that can that alone cannot win you a game. Yeah, I mean, following that up with a defense was right. the key. Following it up with the attack, I mean, if your opponent's been battered down economically, there's no reason to try to win right there. You know, obviously it's a good opportunity to walk the army forward, but you can walk forward and then send three zealots over to the third instead of, you know, nine, ten. And I feel like Huck may have sabotaged his key chance to win there. In all of that, could have thrown down a Templar Archives and begun building Templar and had two, three, four storms ready by the time that counterattack began. That was a long defense for innovation. Yeah, and although the timing uh, of those scans and when the DTs came out looked like it was going to favor him, uh, innovation making the right decision, I just killed everything. He can't have that much back at home. We're going to go ahead and we're going to, you know, he's going to go over there and move. But we also uh, got our resident analysis expert, Axlav, ready to take us through what he thought of the game. Axlav, over to you. What I thought was pretty cool about that game was how much damage Huck did early to Innovation's economy. But then uh, the point of the game, it actually put almost Huck on the back foot because he sacrificed a lot of his his time. He invested all that time to build up an army. He had no tech, and then without the tech, he could never really move out, take enough map presence to get that third base. He did a lot of damage with those Dark Templar, but unfortunately, uh, without those uh, High Templar or Colossi on the field, the bio ball of innovation was just so strong. Uh, what, what do you guys think uh, Huck could have done, or what, what point in the game do you think he could have tried to slip in some